It's food o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Lidl's Alfredo Stone Baked Quattro Formaggio Pizza. Now I've been eating the pepperoni pizzas from Lidl's for years now. I even reviewed it and my wife, she sometimes don't finish her whole pizza. She'll leave a slice. So over the years I've been trying the slice of pizza sharing it and I've got to really enjoy this Quattro Formaggio. It's a really enjoyable pizza so I thought I'd bring it to you today. I thought I'd review it for you. So without further ado, let's get it in the oven, cooked up, see what we get. Okay, the pizza's cooked. Let's get it out the oven. Looks nice. Let's cut it up. the pizza it looks nice it's made with mozzarella edam cheddar and blue cheese let's have a look at the back of the box for that the box is just over there it looks nice enough two pizzas works out something like one pound ninety for two pizzas you can't really go wrong for that can you let's uh, dive in Mmm. Yeah, and as I mentioned before, it's a grower on me. Years ago for me, I couldn't understand just cheese and tomato pizza. It was like one of the most kind of, let's be fair, boring pizzas you can get. Cheese, tomato and a pizza base. But a full cheese pizza. Mmm. where you get that slightly grilled grilled top to the cheese the almost like burnt grilled cheese and the, the little bit of stinkiness from the blue cheese and the edam and the mozzarella mmm it works it really works and for once I've managed not to burn the pizza. The base is okay. What I like about the little pizzas, and if you watch the pepperoni pizza I did from Little, you'll know that what I like about these pizzas is the the saucy base. It's like there's a layer of like a tomatoey kind of base that just makes everything moist and succulent and just keeps it keeps it nice and moist mm. I've had pizzas from other supermarkets in fact I did a taste test between Aldi and Lidl with the pepperoni pizza <coughs> pardon me and I mentioned the fact that the the base was just lovely and, and moist on the the little pizza whereas the Aldi one was more about if I remember rightly it was more of a pepper spice more of a, a spicy pizza but it's good but I haven't burnt the base today really good value for muddy I shop in Lidl on a weekly basis. I'm not too proud to kind of say that. I, I love the place. I, I think it's a great place to shop. We have a pizza night on a Friday. You can go to Lidl. Two of these pizzas. My daughter will have one. My wife will have the other one. Comes in a, a two pack. I'll have a couple of or a pepperoni pizza. My other daughter will have like a child's pizza. You can get a big bottle of Coke. It all comes in every week. It comes in like under I don't know, it's like five pounds for for a pizza night, for a themed night. Kids finish school, walking them home from school, 
Friday, you finished school for the week, you've got the weekend to look forward to, and we're going to celebrate it with pizza night. And their eyes light up. Their eyes light up. And you can do it on the cheap. What I'm trying to say here, although you have seen me reviewing a Domino's pizza here a few times, yes, I like that pizza. I generally go for a, a lunchtime saver menu, five pound pizza from Domino's, whatever the theme is cheeseburger pizza or chicken chorizo Catalan style pizza or something like that. I'll go with that because I enjoy it. But it's cheap, it's a lunchtime deal, it's cheap. No way off my own back anyway. Um, would I would I go to Domino's or one of these pizza places and spend like 15 pounds on a pizza? Not when you can get quality pizza like this for, for let's be fair, under one pound for a pizza. Right. I'm gonna rate it. For the money, it's incredible value. The base is nice, there's plenty of cheese on the pizza, different flavoured cheeses. The mozzarella's nice. The, what else do we have? Blue cheese, that's nice. The Edam is nice. It was a full, what was the other cheese? Cheddar. And the cheddar just kind of grills slightly on the top, you can see, and it just gives like a, almost like a little bit of a cheese on toast taste to it. Lovely. I like that enough for the money to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.